back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today I'm going to make sausage bagels with spaghetti sauce, onions, garlic, and cheese on top. I have a spaghetti sauce that I like to buy. It comes with garlic and oregano. And I use it for making spaghetti pasta. I use it for making pizza. It's uh, real, real good. So I'm going to use that, and then I just have a couple of bagels left here in the package. Um, these happen to be blueberry bagels. I'm going to have a cucumber salad with it, and I'm using a package sausage. These are pre-cooked already, so you don't have to do a lot of cooking with them. And for cheese, I pulled a whole bunch of cheese because there's lots of choices with this. I have Kobe Jack. I have a Swiss, American, um, here's an Italian mix, which would be really good. I use this on pasta, Monterey Jack, or I have uh, um, another bag of an Italian style. So this is what we're going to use. Let's get started. Let's start out today by cutting up our garlic and our onions. So in order to do that, I like to cut the garlic first. You're going to cook the onions until they get to be clear. So you want to have this garlic all set and ready to go. So I have several cloves that look pretty good. I'm just going to try to pop them apart, little pieces, throw them off there. And then I put them in this container like this. And then I put the lid on it and I shake it. should loosen the paper up and then I'll put away this then I take my slicer and you could use this slicer here like this I charged it so it should have life see how nice that does I mean that's just awesome that's one way to do it. Or I might get my slap chopper. There's the slap chopper. These two are my favorite tools. Hold it just like this. And you can look at it, see what it looks like. Now, one thing about the slap chopper is, is you do have to take it apart to clean it. This, this one here is a little bit easier to clean, a little less cleaning. But I like the slap chopper. It takes the paper off, just like that. So if there's any paper, so if you want, put it in, put it in here. If you're not 100% happy with the way it looks, put this on, just like this. Run it. There you go. There's my garlic. It's all set, ready to go. Now let's do the onion. For the onion, I'm only going to use half. This is a lot of onion for one person. Put him in there, just like that. And if I want, I could just peel it by hand like this really fast. Sometimes I put a slot in it. Sometimes I just grab it like this. Stick your finger into it. The red onion is a little bit harder to clean than any other onion. Just like that. Then I can cut Cut it in quarters, just like that. Get rid of that center part. You don't want that core. Put a few turns in the pan. I like oil. I waited till it got hot and I could feel the heat. Now you want to let it go a little bit till it smokes, but let's get these onions in here. Let's do another one. I want to get this whole half. Just like that. Not too bad. A little bit of cleanup to be expected. This piece here, I don't like that. It don't look good. 
No. Just grab a spatula. Move the stuff around. There's another piece that I'm not fond of. He can come out of there. I got plenty of I have plenty of onions. Garlic. I get it all because I really like garlic. And this little doodad just goes back together again like that. This has to cook a little bit. Let's put some salt in here. Remember, onions and potatoes get a lot of salt. Even though I used garlic, I'm still going to use a little bit of garlic powder. I love garlic powder. And I also love onion powder. So even though I'm using onion, these, these are different layer of flavors. Just like that. I know my shakers, so I'm not so worried about a lot coming out. If you're not familiar with them, put them in your hand so you don't kill it, especially if you use the salt out of a loose shaker. Now, some people might want to put something hot in here. These red pepper flakes would be really good to put in there at this point. So... This is going, let's let this go for just a minute. I put the sausage in here, and you gotta put the lid on this thing. Okay, I'll put in the rest. Now, if you're cooking this for a family, you gotta use a big can. And these are kind of like sloppy joes. It's kind of a way to describe it, but I'm making a paste. I'm not using um, ground beef. I'm making a uh, sausage paste. Just like that. And a little spatula to pull it out. Now, sometimes people, when they make this, they keep a little bit of the spaghetti or pasta sauce, and they'll put that on the bread directly with a spoon. So that's kind of something you can do if you want. Just take your bagels. Just like this. And your spaghetti sauce in your container. Let's put this aside. Give us some room to work here. For the bagels, I'm going to use the plastic knives that are supposed to be for the kids to use. But I'll tell you, I really like them for cutting up the bagels. And I think it's a lot safer, too. You know, I wonder how many people in America cut their hand cutting up a bagel. I'm not sure why bagels aren't cut from the factory, but I just like using this plastic knife for this. works really well. Then if you want you can grab a spoon and you can take some of your spaghetti sauce and you can go ahead and put that out on your bagel. Sausage was pre-cooked, so really, I'm just really warming it up. Spaghetti sauce, it doesn't matter if you eat it, whether it's cooked or if it's just spaghetti sauce. Putting the lid on it will do two things. One is it will raise the temperature. The other is it will moisture itself. If you're ever cooking anything and you're afraid you're going to dry it out by putting a lid on, and if you want, you can put a little bit of water in there. Sometimes you'll see me use a shot glass. And I'll put a little bit of water in. They, they say actually like tablespoon. Put a couple tablespoons in there. So now I just have my cucumber 
and uh, my eyes are burning a little bit from the onions, so please forgive me. I'm just going to cut this cucumber. I'm going to make a cucumber salad. Um, I'll tell you one thing that's really good with this too is to have a ranch salad dressing and I have a video that I made on making ranch salad dressing so I'll connect that in the notes. You know right down below where it says more that's where I list all my ingredients. I also have the link which goes to my website and while I'm thinking of it please click on that subscribe button. I'm trying to get my first thousand subscribers. I really need it. If you're a YouTuber, click on that, and then I'll subscribe to yours, too. I like watching everybody else's videos as well. And also, too, my website is jamestdds.blogspot.com. So please go there if you want to see more things. And uh, let's go ahead and get back to cutting this up. I have the oven preheating. So I'm getting that up to 450 degrees. These are going to cook pretty fast. You know, cutting up these onions and cooking them and stuff makes your eyes water. I've heard people say run water and things like that. But I'll tell you, if you run a fan to blow across you while you're cutting them up, you're going to be surprised at how it saves your eyes. I don't want to do that now because it'll play havoc with my microphones and stuff like that. But uh, sometimes you got to just take a break and clear your eyes. Now I have the ovens preheating, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut up these cucumbers for the salad. This is just a pretty quick, easy meal. If you work all day and you got kids and stuff to cook for, you know, everybody loves cucumbers. Um, if you want, you can make it into a tomato. If you just want uh, like a tomato salad, you can do just tomatoes. If you want a vegetable salad, you can make it into a vegetable salad. So, and then when I have extras, I take and I put it in a container and throw it in the refrigerator for later. So, for a salad dressing, I'm just going to do a uh, red wine vinegar. I don't really measure. I like red wine. I like olive oil a real lot. This bottle's almost empty. Let's see if uh, yeah, it's got enough in it for this. And then if you want, you can put all kinds of extra things in your salad. If you want, you, I have, here's some basil. You can put some basil in there. Just a little bit. It won't do a lot. Of course, salt and pepper. And for the cucumbers, I just have a container like this. I picked these up at like the dollar store save my cucumbers and keep them just like that right in there then for my salad sometimes I like to dress it up a little bit these are mild gardenia just throw some mild gardenia in there my nose is still running a little bit from the onions some olives. Now with the olives you can do a little olive juice. If you ever put too much vinegar in a salad, uh, put olive juice in it. It'll uh, dilute it. Dilutes the vinegar. Okay, so there's some olives. Now let's think about getting this taken care of here. are pretty nice. They don't get overly hot. In the oven, a stone, a pizza stone. If you don't really need it, I happen to have it, so I'm using it. And I have a peel. We named him Norman, after Norman Vincent Peel. I like to put some cornmeal on it, like that, so things don't stick. Be careful, they don't go sliding off right on the peel like that. Then I'll just come right over here. 
grab my mix, put it right on top. Pretty simple, quick meal, and you can make more stuff if you want to warm up some vegetables to go with this. You know, canned vegetables, you want some corn, you want some peas, mixed vegetables. Which I don't want to put on here. There we go. Look at that, huh? That's pretty exciting. Then, I decided to use the Italian mix of cheese which is a uh, mozzarella, provolone, romano, that's a pecca romano, and uh, a parmesan cheese. So, now this is kind of hard to do to keep this, keep the cheese from falling off. So you got to kind of stick your hand in the bag, squeeze it together with your three fingers, and just kind of sneak it on top, just like that. Then when you put these in the oven, I would recommend that you use some kind of pan. I wouldn't just put them on the grill, especially unless you have some aluminum foil or something below them. So what I'm going to do to make life easy is I buy aluminum foil by the sheet in a box. I'm just going to go to the oven. Pretty much when the cheese is melted, you're done. It just beeped. It's been six minutes. The cheese is melted. It looks real good. I have parchment paper that I use. I'll just put that on my cutting board. transfer these off the foil. Wow, look at that, huh? That's pretty exciting. wonder which one looks best. We'll start with that one. There we go. Well, that's the show for the day. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.